So Canelo Alvarez gets offered another $50, $60, 100000000 million deal from PBC. Another one. And nobody questions it. But didn't y'all say that PBC was broke when the same people offered Anthony Joshua $50 million that he asked for? Let's talk. Straighter, yep, the, not yep. roundhouse right hand. And that's what we've been talking about, the straight shot. It's exactly. the one where he gets leverage on it. I don't want to kill Pull somebody back for a, a little bit. Seconds. Nah, I want a body on my record. Now, I want to see you fight, motherfuckers. I do. All right? I'm with you. I'm with you. As long as as long as you're trying to fight the great, you're, or the, the, the best competition. Welcome to the graveyard. Click the link if you dance. Mary, you alive. I'm prepared to. Welcome to the graveyard. You get your sources from clowns. So when you come around, we'll be here. Welcome to the graveyard. Click the link if you dance. Mary, you alive. I'm prepared to. Welcome to the graveyard. You get your sources from clowns. So when you come around, we'll be here. The best if you ain't with the moto, just click the link, bitch, and get buried like the rest. It ain't gonna work how you want it. These trolls already tried, too many come but don't leave. So if you hear, you gotta die. Spitting straight facts, these bitches cry because they hate that. The LDBC's the top topic, bitch. Hate that. We the best that bring the truth to these fans. So why you hate? I'm a laugh and keep counting these bands. Welcome to the graveyard. Click the link, get the pants. Bury you alive, I'm prepared to. Welcome to the graveyard. You get your sources from clowns. So when you come around, we don't hear you. Welcome to the graveyard. Click the link if you dare to. Bury you alive, I'm prepared to. Welcome to the graveyard. You get your sources from clowns. So when you come around, we don't hear you. Welcome to the graveyard. So, Canelo Alvarez gets offered another nine, eight, nine figure payday. Um, from PBC, of which he turned down, but that's not even a conversation right now. Um, I don't hear the same people that were saying the PBC is broke. They're broke. The PBC is broke, man. They're going out of business. They ain't got no money. The PBC is broke. I don't hear you guys having that same energy right now. No, no, no. As a matter of fact, you guys are talking about how, oh, man, listen, man, Canelo Alvarez, he's the money man, and Canelo Alvarez, listen, man, the PBC's paying him, they're paying, the PBC, man, they're paying him so much money because he's the man, Canelo Alvarez, man, he's face fuck, Canelo Alvarez, living legend, Canelo, he's the man, and that's the reason why everybody's paying him so much big numbers, but I thought PBC was broke. I mean, it's the same people. Al Heyman still runs the PBC. All of the same people are still there. They're not under new management. So when Anthony Joshua said, give me $50 million, and Deontay Wilder said, fine. <laughs> how come nobody's, how, where's all the Canelo fans saying, where are you getting the money from? I need to see proof of funds. Where's all the Canelo fans at? Where are y'all at, bro? I don't hear I don't hear nothing. I hear nothing. All I hear is, oh man, listen, man. He, listen, Canelo's a man. He got options. You know, he got options. There's Bivol and there's Golovkin and, and there's Charlo and Benavidez. Listen, but you know, listen, man, Charlo, he didn't do nothing to deserve it. Bivol didn't Benavidez didn't do nothing to deserve Canelo. They didn't do nothing to deserve him. Who did they fight to deserve? Who the fuck did Bivol fight? Yeah, Bumloff can fuck Canelo twice already and lost, in my opinion, but whatever. Whatever. Whatever, whatever. <laughs> yeah, this is about that bread, though. The bread that y'all said they didn't have. Oh, all the money's coming from BT. Everybody knows. Wilder's just some guy from Alabama. Where is he getting the $50 million from? Where the fuck is Charlo getting it, if that's the case? Where's Benavidez and Charlo getting fifty a hundred million dollars? Because that's the deal, a hundred million dollars for Canelo Alvarez to fight Charlo and Bivol for a hundred million dollars. Two fights, hundred million dollars. Where the fuck is where? Where are they getting? Where is Charlo get? Charlo got a fifty million dollars. 
Charlo and Benavidez combined and then combined somebody else and then combined somebody else don't got $100 million. The entire Lions only boxing is not worth $100 million. The entire thing, both of them combined, Jamel and Jamal with all their belts in all, in all divisions they fought in, in every opponent that they fought, is not worth $100 million. So where the fuck are they getting it from? Where's Charlo? He's just some guy from Houston. <laughs> He's just some guy from Houston. Where is Charlo getting $50 million? Where is Benavidez getting $50 million to give to Canelo Alvarez? That was different though, right? <laughs> you don't want to talk about that? We're going to leave that one alone. Let's talk about something else. Let's talk about the greatness of Canelo Alvarez, and let's do that. Let's talk about the greatness. He's so great, so special. Big was a tough fight. He's a tough fight. hard fight. Let's talk about that. Let's move to goalposts. Let's change the subject. Is that what y'all want to do? Fuck that. The same people, the same exact people who got the money for Deontay Wilder, the $50 million for him to fight Joshua, the $50 million that Joshua asked for, are the same exact people that paid Canelo Alvarez. $50 million, $40, $50 million to fight uh 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 Caleb uh Smith, Caleb Smith, uh well Caleb Plan, I mean. Same ones. They're the same ones. They're the same ones that offered this man $40 million to fight Jamal Charlo. They're the same ones that offered this man $50 or $60 million to fight Benavides. They're the same ones. The same exact people. Nothing changed. The only thing that changed is the fighters' names. What the money's going for didn't even change. It's going for a boxing match. Anthony Joshua was going to get $50 million against 50%. So he's actually going to make more because the fight would have made more. But if it would have made less, so the fuck what? He was getting $50 million. $50 million guaranteed. Something that no one has done. No one. Floyd Mayweather didn't get $50 million guaranteed. Floyd Mayweather made his money on the pay-per-views. Yeah. Floyd Mayweather was making like $20 million guaranteed. $30 million guaranteed. Anthony Joshua was going to make $50 million guaranteed. For 36 minutes or less. $50 million. He could have just got in the ring and got knocked out in the first nine seconds, and he would have got $50 million just for getting in the ring. And he turned it down. And all you dudes ran around the world talking about, oh, man, BT can't pay. BT's involved, and BT can't pay for it. Wilder don't got $50 million. How where Wilder ain't got that? How the fuck? How can Wilder get? Where's Wilder getting the money from? They, we need to see proof of funds. Show proof of funds. Well, where's the proof of funds? Wilder's in there. Proof of funds. We got to have proof of funds because Wilder don't got that money. Well, where the fuck did Caleb Plant get it from? Where did Caleb Plant get it from? Because they paid Canelo Alvarez. What, $50, $60 million, $40 million to fight Caleb Plant? Where did he get it from? Where did Caleb Plant get this money from? How come nobody's questioning his pockets? Is it Couldn't have to be his skin tone, could it? His skin tone is not the problem, right? Because Al Heyman still um, owns and controls PBC. Of which Caleb Plant fought, fights under. Of which who paid the bills. The same person was paying the bills. So could it be that Caleb Plant had the complexion for the protection? So nobody, so his credit was good? His money was good? But all it's coming from, coming from the same exact people to pay uh, Anthony Joshua? That money's not good because Wilder, uh, Wilder was the guy, was a, was a name in the contract? You niggas can't even make it make sense. You can't make it make sense. You didn't want that fight. So you made up every fucking excuse on why Anthony Joshua didn't have to accept nothing. Or why Anthony Joshua didn't have to do nothing. You didn't want the fight. Oh, Joshua don't got to do that. His commercial value. Look at his thighs. Look at his thighs. Look at his thighs. Oh, Joshua's so greasy. He don't need to. Hey, he got he got under armor. It's under armor. Joshua's the sponsor for ass juice. Joshua's the sponsor for assless thongs. 
He's a sponsor. He's got, he's got all this. He's got all this commercial value. He don't got to do this. He don't need Wilder. He don't. Y'all sound just the same way y'all Bud fans. Y'all sound exactly the same. Y'all sound exactly the same. <laughs> Joshua fans and Bud fans sound exactly the same. Y'all sound the exact same way. It ain't no difference. The only the only uh the only problem in this scenario is Canelo Alvarez got paid heavily, heavily. 50, 60 million dollars, 40, 50, 60 million dollars from the same exact people who was offering 50 million dollars to Anthony Joshua. The same exact people. Canelo Alvarez just turned down a hundred million dollar contract. One hundred million dollars in two fights. Hundred million. Just to fight for 15 million less against lesser competition. And nobody's saying a word. Oh, man, Bivol's a good fight. Uh, Golovkin, man, we really wanted to see this one, man. We wanted to see Golovkin and Bivol. We, we really wanted to because, because you know, Bivol, yeah, I think Bivol got, neither one of them has got a shot. Neither one of them got, well, we're BF, no, none of them got a shot. Benavidez don't got a shot. Charles doesn't got a shot either. Okay, if nobody got the shot, then don't you take the biggest bag? If no one's got a shot? If you beat everybody, why are you taking the cheapest fucking bag? If you beat everybody, if you beat them all, then you take the biggest bag if you beat them all. But you clearly don't think so. You niggas think so. He don't. But the bottom line is he was offered uh, $100 million from the same people who offered $50 million to Anthony Joshua. I don't see anybody running around here asking where the funds is coming from. Don't see it at all. I don't see nobody talking about, oh, man, these guys from there. This just some guys from Houston. Oh, it's just some guy, you know, from, from Mexico. These guys ain't got no $100 million. These guys isn't shit. Y'all running around talking about how they haven't fought nobody. Charlo hasn't fought nobody. Who did Charlo beat? Who did he beat to deserve Canelo? He don't deserve Canelo. Charlo ain't shit. Benavidez is a cocaine. Benavidez has lost his, his belt in the scales. Benavidez ain't good. He's trash. Benavidez's footwork is garbage. He, he didn't beat nobody. Who did Benavidez beat? Okay, cool. Well, if that's the case, where the fuck are they getting this $100 million from? Where are they getting the bread from to pay Canelo Alvarez? Where's the money coming from? The same people like it was coming from from Anthony from Deontay Wilder for Anthony Joshua. The same people, the same ones where y'all crucified Wilder and talk about he ain't got the money. Show me the proof of funds, proof of funds. Show me your bank accounts. So I need to see proof of funds. I need to see this. Yeah, it's coming from the same exact fucking people, but y'all are not questioning it. But you act like I wouldn't remember. Like I'm not gonna bring this shit back and throw it in your motherfucking face because y'all are fucking frauds. You're fucking hypocrites. All of you motherfuckers. Every one of y'all niggas are not questioning why Canelo Alvarez can get a hundred million dollars from the exact same people that you motherfuckers said are broke and don't got it. The exact same people that were paying for uh, Deontay Wilder, they were paying Wilder to fight Joshua, or paying Joshua to fight Wilder. Dare I say? But they didn't have it. It was they couldn't afford it. It's coming from BT. The same motherfuckers, but y'all ain't saying shit right now. You changed the full subject. You're fucking pathetic. And you never wanted Anthony Joshua to fight Deontay Wilder because you knew the outcome. You just wanted to hate on Wilder, period. BFTB, shout out to the mighty, mighty LDBC, and I'm out.